Agarita or Algerita is a small evergreen shrub, usually six foot tall or less, with heavily waxed five pointed leaves that make it easy to identify. The growth form is typically rounded but may grow among other shrubs, creating impenetrable thickets. It is one of the most common shrubs found throughout Texas and grows in a wide variety of soil types, including rock ledges and very thin soil. Agarita is considered a number three choice browse plant in Texas because the heavily waxed mature leaves make palatability difficult and the nasty five point spines make it very inhospitable. However, new leaves are much more palatable and readily consumed. In extreme cases of overpopulation by either livestock, exotics, or whitetail, hedging of the entire plant will occur. The leaves are dark green in color, heavily waxed, and have five sharp spines per leaf. Crude protein ranges depending on the age of the leaf, but may be as high as 16% in the spring. All wildlife species, particularly turkey, quail, and songbirds, love the small rounded berries of the agarita. Each berry contains one seed, and birds are notorious for transferring and depositing them along fence rows throughout Texas. During the winter months when most plants have defoliated, agarita, prickly pear, and ash juniper are about all that is left in the pasture that remain green. Deer will actively consume the agarita as the weather worsens during hard winters. Because of the spines and poor palatability, livestock typically do not graze near agarita plants. This protection zone offers excellent grass germination and early growth opportunities, not to mention prime escape cover and nesting locations for many ground nesting species, including quail and turkey. Agarita are shallow rooted with an orange colored round root ball and can be easily dug up using heavy machinery. Prescribed fire will top kill the plant and only a few chemicals are able to control the plant prior to the old growth leaves being produced. Agarita is a staple component of most rangeland habitats in Texas and even though it is not a sought after forage plant, it offers many positive virtues to a wide range of wildlife species and should be kept in moderation when possible.